which shall derive the moment of inertia of an rod take an origin at one end and the total length of the rod is l so this is zero and this is plus l we have to calculate the moment of inertia about the x axis so i x x equal to integration 0 to l lambda dl y square plus z square and this is the formula and here lambda is the mass per unit length that is m by small l and x and z equal to 0 because there is no component of the rod along x and z axis so this is 0 to l lambda d as the rod is along the y axis so we can say dl equal to dy y square plus value of z is 0 so this is 0 lambda is a constant so it come out of the integration and after integration it will be like okay and now we put the value of lambda this is m by l now this is m l square by 3 from symmetry we can also calculate the moment of inertia along z axis and it will be also m l square by 3 and moment of inertia along y axis it will be like this to value of x and z both are 0 so this will be like this equal to 0 now the product of inertia that is i x z lambda d y and x and z both are 0 so this is 0 and similarly the others product of inertia would be like i x z i y z i x y all are 0 so the moment of inertia tensor of the rod is i x x that is m l square by 3 0 0 0 i y y that is also 0 0 0 0 and i z z that is also m l square by 3 thus we can this is the moment of inertia tensor of a rod taken origin at one end thus we can calculate the moment of inertia of a rod